part two of my series on my server here. So today I'm going to put install the M2 drives on this card here. And I went ahead and decided to get a little grounding strap because I'm going to be touching memory and stuff. Uh, I usually I wear these from time to time when I'm working on RAM and things like this. Some people don't like to wear them, but I I rather go with over an over abundance of caution. But anyways, I needed more light, so I got my little torch there. Anyways, I have to shoot this on my phone because I'm working on another project and my main camera is busy with that project. So I'm going to take the cover of this cover off. Okay, so it comes with the screws for the M2M drives. Got this from B&H. It was like a dollar or two cheaper on Amazon, but fuck Amazon. Instructions. So to get to this thing, I have to take these screws out. I'm gonna do that here in a minute. There we go. So, ah, we're doing these one by one. I'm gonna show you how to do them real quick. These are the heat sink pads that you have to remove, and this is where the M2 drives will go. There, and then it goes to the PCI port, and then it has a fan too. You can turn that on or off if you want. I think I'm gonna turn it on because it gets hot in that server. Okay, so. These come with a set of two screws. So basically, they come with this little piece right here. And that piece, the bigger piece, goes onto the base or the board here. And then the screw goes over that. So this is the base where the board, the circuit will land on your drive. And it fits in there perfect. See? You see? So then you put the screw and it holds it in there. This is how it looks like before you put that screw in, or that um, the base screw, I guess I should call it. I should, I'm gonna show you in a minute what I did, but that's how it's supposed to look. Hold on a second. All right, so that's how it goes. Focus, but that's okay. See? I'll show you on the other one. So basically, you get the bigger one, and you just gotta tighten it in there with hand. I mean, you could use a, a wrench to tighten it in there, but I think that'd be way too much to work. So that's it, see? You just tighten it in there, and you do one for each one that you're gonna use. Since I'm using four, I'm gonna do all four. And then you just put the Phillips screw on top of that, and that's it. I'm gonna do all of them real quick. Okay, got them all in there. Now it's time to take the plastic off all of these, and then install the thing on there. Here we go. Yeah. I don't know what's up with the this. Uh, light flickering thing, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. All right. Now, just gotta put it back in there. There we go. It's not as easy as it appears to be. Especially there it goes. Ah, got him, coach. And put the little 
little tab back in. Got that. Okay. So that ends this quick video. Well, please like and subscribe.